Hello friends and welcome to my channel Simply Stocks and today I am going to talk about MCX and how is the company doing and whether you should invest in this company or not. So let's get started. First of all a disclaimer that this is not a stock recommendation and people taking any position into any share that I talk about should do that with their own due diligence and research and I am not in favor or against any company that I talk about. Before I talk about MCX, here's a small request that kindly support me through Patreon and once you do that you'll get better videos on YouTube and I'll help you in personal, uh, you can say queries and stock ideas for a nominal fee. Uh, it starts from $82 a month and goes up to $10 a month and once I have more than 200 Patreons, I'll definitely try to make an educa educational course on YouTube and once you have a $10 course, uh, you'll be able to uh, get, get access to my portfolio as well as as a watch list which I am preparing at the moment. Now about MCX, it was established in 2003 and they are the leader in commodity exchange and currently perhaps has the monopoly in the same. It was the first such exchange of India uh, a few decades ago and products include uh, trading in gold, metals, energy and agrochemicals or agri-commodities. Uh, it has a nationwide presence and a market cap of the company is around 6,500 crores. If you look at the financials of the company, then the sales have grown very well by 28.5% in the last quarter. So this is March quarter numbers. March quarter numbers have been pretty good and you may understand that although there were few days here and there in which uh, there was a complete shutdown of the business where it shouldn't have been because of the current situation. Uh, but overall they did pretty well even in uh, difficult circumstances. Mm -hmm. So we have seen that uh, the sales have go grown by around 28.5% and the profit has grown by around 30%. Uh, there is very high institutional uh, holding although the promoter holding is not that uh, big but institutional holding is pretty big. It is a debt free company. Uh, return on equity is of 7.5% and operating profit margin is close to 40% which is absolutely exceptional uh, and you need to understand that although this is not like a consumption company like Britannia etc but this is not second to those so but this is more or less a play to the Indian economy a play to the Indian exchanges and although we have BSC, BSC listed uh, but this is another company in which you could say a complete monopoly and domination is there and one can see with the kind of results that they are having the kind of market share uh, that they, they are commanding at the moment. If you look at the performance of the stock, stock has performed well in the well till three months back in February. So it has been up something like 80% since 2018 July and high institutional holding is an extremely big positive but remember that from uh, february and onwards it has fallen something like 33 35 percent till the end of march and those were great levels to get into mcx and many of the uh, uh, companies uh, trading at 30 times earnings at the moment it is not extremely expensive but not cheap either but but you need to understand that uh, uh, the company has always traded at higher multiples so um, 30 times earnings is not very expensive and could easily go to 40 45 times earnings going forward uh, came out with strong q3 numbers came out with strong q4 numbers as well so last two quarters have been very good for for mcx and it seems like as uh, there is easing in curfew all over india uh, we could be in a situation where uh, the stock will do even well um, going forward in the next six months or so so declines can be bought into uh, the stock it has recovered from march lows very smartly and swiftly in, in a v-shape recovery uh, stock uh, of mcx has recovered from the lows of end of march so what could be a prudent strategy in in this stock uh, it could be that uh, the business will be volatile for the next two quarters so yes there could be a situation so what i'm expecting with the with the kind of uh, situation that we are having we could see a situation where uh, the country shuts down uh, maybe partially or so or maybe greater than that 
uh, going forward and then we could see a situation where co companies like mcx may suffer a little bit so the movement of the stock could be up and down maybe volatile because of the kind of news flow that we are having uh, market volatility will also make stock go down many times over this six months so you will get opportunities to buy into this is not a market where it will just continue to go to 12,000 and so whenever on days when market falls to three percent because of any reason and the stock falls five to six percent one can accumulate so wait for major declines uh, to get into uh, uh, the stock uh, may have bottomed out around 880 i i believe between 880 and 850 there is very strong support there have been many uh, bottoms formed uh, recently uh, at those levels and if you go back for five years then 880 used to be a very huge resistance when it was coming out of uh, that uh, uh, total fiasco that we have uh, with another company uh, with respect to commodity uh, trading etc we had a scam some months back or years back some five six years back so it came out of it and 880 used to be a very big resistance so 880 is a very crucial level yes it has gone past it very well and, and currently trading at very high levels from those but any declines to 900 950 levels could be bought in two numbers are extremely robust and it is trading in exchanges and exchange trading and all this commodity trading i feel would continue even though they even if there's another sort of a, look you can say a round of pandemic and everything else these things like exchanges have kept were kept open even in the worst of situations and all so this will continue so the business will continue it won't be a zero some business or, or a business that will completely shut down that like we saw in autos etc so opportunity to accumulate till august september declines should be bought into but after that i feel the markets could give a very good clean rally for the next year or two if you look at the technicals uh, of the stock then there's strong support between 1100 and 1200 levels so any declines towards an, on the short term basis around 1100 1150 should also be bought into major surge from these current levels that we are seeing and we are seeing big moves in very marky stocks of the markets like pd light asian paints titan butter etc and we could see the same happening with mcx going forward with the kind of move that we are seeing in the markets the 200 dma is at 1100 so that could be a good short term support uh, and long term support could still be between 1060 to 1120 uh, good to trade with 1200 stop loss on the short term basis so long on a long term basis 1100 looks a huge support then 880 is a big support but on a short term basis i think 1200 is a very good support to go with so this was my video of mcx please like and subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you can get my video straight away when i post it thanks a lot for watching